Hi, I'm Jared Falk, and in this video, I wanna share with you some essential bass drum techniques that I think you absolutely must know to play the drums. Now, the first one we're gonna talk about is the heel down technique. Now, this one just means that your heel always stays on the bottom of the pedal. All right, and now, to perform a stroke, even when I, the, the beater hits, I don't necessarily raise my heel. Otherwise, that would be considered more of a heel up technique, which is the next one we're gonna talk about. Now, the heel down technique is used primarily uh, when you're needing softer sounds. And that's not always the case. I know a lot of drummers can get a lot of power from heel down thing, but from all the drummers I watch and all the drum videos I watch, it's like thousands upon thousands of videos. Um, when a drummer is playing lightly or, or softly, uh, for like some a Latin thing or a jazz thing or if you're playing in like a hotel where Where you're not allowed to make a lot of volume because there's no you know PA or sound system or something like that um, This is a technique that I would use and I have used a lot And so let me just play a little bit for you I'm just gonna play like a little bit of a, a, a jazz ditty and show you exactly how it looks when using the heel down technique So even when you're playing the heel down technique, it's not like you have to exclusively play that. You don't have to choose for a song, I'm just gonna play heel down technique the whole way through. It's not like that. You'll even notice when I was playing that, that uh, little jazz thing there, that when I wanted to create a bigger accent or a louder note on the bass drum, my heel actually came up a tiny bit. And so there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that you have to play heel down all the time. Um, so the next technique that I want to talk to you guys about is the heel up technique, okay? Now this is where your heel is off of the back plate on the pedal. And you can choose to um, keep your heel up like this and keep the beater on the bass drum head. And that would just look like this. But I don't always like to keep the beater on the bass drum head all the time. I find it will choke the drum a little bit and I like a little bit more resonance. And so what I do is if I want to perform a heel up stroke, get a lot of power, um, I'll show you exactly what I do. I'll play groove and I hit the bass drum using a heel up, but then I rest my heel right afterwards. And just let me play it for you. That's the easiest way for me to show it to you guys and then you can kind of take it to your kit and kind of figure out exactly how it's working for you. Here we go. So let me try and slow down exactly what I'm doing there. I'm basically lifting my heel to hit the bass drum. And as soon as I hit it, I bring my heel back down. And because normally I'm playing a, a series of bass drum notes, you know, I'm not just hitting it once and then, and then leaving it forever. Um, I'm gonna have to perform another stroke right away. So it's almost like your, your foot is sitting on top of the pedal and your heel's never resting and the tip of your foot isn't always resting because you'll notice sometimes when I actually remove it, the, the front of my foot down here actually comes off the pedal very, very slightly because I don't want the pedal to be like moving around like that. So I gotta keep control of it, right? Just like when we hit the drums, we don't just let the stick do whatever we want. We kind of control it with our fingers. And so the same thing goes with the pedal. You wanna maintain control of the beater so it's not just recklessly flying around and there's craziness happening down there. Um, and so it's just important to be aware of these two techniques, you know, the, the heel up and the heel down. 
and then kind of choose which one's working for you at what time. And experiment you know, with not leaving the beater on the head at all times because you might get into a situation in the studio where they don't want that. They want more resonance out of the bass drum and they're finding you leaving the beater on the head is choking a little bit. So you want to be able to build, just remove it and not worry about um, you know, it's screwing up your technique or you having the habit of doing that every single time. Okay? Um, so as far as the other techniques go, like there's slide, there's heel toe, we have videos on drumlessons.com teaching those and they're way more in depth uh, than I can show you in this video because we set up specific camera angles for them and did other things. So I'd highly recommend you check out the videos on slide technique. There's a video that's uh, from Dave Atkinson, a video on flat foot technique from Sean Lay and a video on heel toe technique from myself. Okay, These are just the essential ones to get you started. It's been a blast teaching you once again and I'll see you guys in the next video.